What's up guys, your boy French Fry Warrior is here and today we're here to go over this month's chapter of Records of Ragnarok 92. So, Okita, he got clapped last time we saw and for a second I thought he was cooked, but nah, obviously he's not cooked and I'm just going to jump straight into it because I really want to see what's going to happen at this point. So, here he's probably like imagining something. I still have not fulfilled my promise to Kondo-san. Okay, walking through the town. I'm sorry, Kondo. I messed up at the training camp again. Whenever I turn into Onigo the Demon Child, I always lose myself. Okay, so he acknowledges it, naturally. Before I knew I completely messed that guy up, I also caused trouble for you, Kondo-san. Don't worry, Soji, that was a decision I made to myself when I took you under my wing. Okay, yeah, this is similar going to that backstory from Rakuruma Shogun. Even if that includes that demon child thing, I accept you and take everything about you. Yo, Kendo is the best dad award right there. Well, no, I'm sorry, sorry. I gotta, I gotta rephrase that before the Adam fans come kill me. Adam is number one. Kondo's a good second. Kondo's the dude. I said that this is not good, but I'm not able to stop. In the end, I'm just some monstrous murder. I don't think I'll be able to become a noble samurai like you. Damn. So it really is like an evil part of him, like a demon that's with him. Soji, do you know what the boo in Bushi means? The Bushi samurai. I will is the power to kill enemies, right? Well, I mean, you're not entirely wrong. I apologize, sir. Are you listening, Soji? This is something I always thought. Staking one's life on one's own beliefs. That person can die with a smile on their face. That's what a real samurai is. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Die with a smile? Yep. Everything's fine. It's all right, Soji. You'll understand one day. Sunday that I'm sure okay so yeah this is probably where his goal of like wanting to really like go all out came from Kondo can someone like a monster like me even can I become not a rampaging monster with killing power but a true samurai who fights with conviction why are you complaining and talking to him at times like this, you should just say, I will do it. Yes, sir. Yo, Kono's the motivating guy. This is the dude right here. Always respect this guy right here. Right. I will become one. And that's where his goal was born. It's a promise. Okay. So my previous video wasn't entirely obsolete. Where I talked about um, Okita's pass from Requiem of Sugar. So it's not entirely obsolete. It's just okay. I guess you can think of my video as a part one and this is part two that plays off of that. Um I'll probably include a little um link to it on the top right here. The little card up there, probably. If I remember. <laughs> I promise. The one who took control over this class of swords. Damn, he looks messed up. I'm not gonna lie, he looks kind of washed a bit with none other than Susano. Phew, I'm boiling here. Okay, they're all cheering. Ooh, his squad shook. Soji. Kondo, not yet. I still haven't. Yo, Susano shook. He's like, how? I have yet to fulfill my promise to Kondo. Okita Soji. No, what? No. Even at this state close to death, he's still trying to stand up. Can he still do it? Of course he can. Okita, what a man you are. Soji, you. Until I give everything I have, I can't. I can't die. Yes, sir. He, he's ready to go all out. Fourth year of the Edo, of the, no, not Edo, Kyo period. Or Edo period. Whatever. 
I have to be useful to Kondo-san, to everyone. Okay, I can tell this chapter is really just going to be Okita's backstory fully. And I guess this is... Because he looks kind of sick here. So, I, yeah, I think this is when he's going through his illness right now. As he grew, Okita Soji became the captain of the first unit of Shinsengumi. He is praised as the strongest swordsman of the Bakumatsu. Nice. However, the Boshin War, which began in the fourth era, and missed the final of the battles of Shisengumi, Kondo, Isami, and his comrades found themselves struggling at the very moment when they needed his sword the most. Damn, so they were found like gangs. And Okita was confined to the bed because of a fatal disease. Tuberculosis. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what everyone was guessing, so it is true. Tuberculosis. Everyone, I want to. I want to fight alongside anyone. I'm not done yet. I have to use everything I have. Following the Aikadai incident, Okita Soji fell ill and was forced to lead the front line. It is said that he quietly passed away on the mat at home where he had been hiding to recover. Is that true though? He believed the day would come, the day we could fight alongside his comrades, day after day. Oh no, this is the sad part. I feel bad for Akita. He just never was willing to, not willing, able to go all out because of the sickness, bro. And his friends were out there dying when they needed his blade the most. That just hits. That hits him. I'm sorry. However, the more I swing it, the sword feels heavier and heavier. Shit. Yeah, that sickness. Taking hold of him. Look at his. Yo, look at his fingers. They showed that in the previous panel? Yeah, like. Yo, my boy is sick. Everyone, Kondo, they're waiting for me. Oh, yeah. He's dying. Wait, what? It's been a while, Soji. Ah, it's you, Onigo san. Damn, he's talking to the demon part of him. This is sick. This is sick. I'm not gonna lie. Onigo, the demon child, is the most ferocious and strongest battle instinct which dwelled in Okita since his birth. As for his price for his demonic strength, it has been continuously consuming his body. Oh, what? Ah, damn. You've lost so much weight. Is it almost time now? Even after you fell ill, I was waiting for my chance. What a shame. I am, I'm gonna die, right, Onigusan? You see, I still haven't been able to fulfill my promise to Kondo. That's why. So, it has been continuously consuming his body. Even after you fell ill, I was waiting. So, does this mean the demon was responsible for the tuberculosis? Or is it, I think it's more that, but the demon, it, the more he uses it, the more it's going to consume his body. That useless Soji. Your body is falling apart. We won't be able to fight side by side again. Not yet. That useless Soji. How are you going to call yourself useless, bro? But wait, I haven't been able to fight. We won't be able to fight side by side again. Not yet. I still, I still want to condo some. Everyone. Not yet. Not yet. I still want to swing my sword even more with everyone. More. I have so much more to give. Damn. And you got the cat just chilling. I wonder if that's because like, I've heard like they have cats in like, uh, hospitals, and. Usually a cat will stay around someone who's about to die soon. So I wonder if this is what that cat signifies. Could be wrong. Wait, please wait just a bit more. Not yet. Oh, that feels bad, bro. Cause they all at least got to go out and battle. 
Okito was even able to do that. Damn. But back to the present. I can't believe it. I want to fight more. The near dead Okita Soji stood up. Okita stood up. That's I tell you, this is our boy. This is our boy. What's this? The color of Okita's eyes is blue now. The body is not the same as it was back then. Now I can finally go all out. That's why Onigo 2 should be completely fine this time. Whoa, okay. Even if somehow we manage to beat to the beat Susano, Soji Okita, you will die. That's a sound. Okay, okay, I, yeah, okay. I guess, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess we'll take that. I both fans, Susano and Okita fans, let's pack it up, bro. We're packing it up because Susano's gonna get rocked by this. And he said, even if we somehow manage to beat Susano, I wonder why he said that. Is he like, yo, Susan was like pretty tough, so we, there's a chance we may lose, but Soji's gonna die anyway after this, apparently. So it's like, this really might be either a win for us, and then Soji dies after the announcement, or just a straight draw. I mean, if it happens like that, then it is what it is. At least Okito went out doing what he loved. Samurai, that's good. I see me and Soji using everything we have. All right then, me and Soji, we will die together. But why? Uh, uh, this is gonna hurt to see, but it's what needs to be done. Everything I will give, everything I have. Oh yeah, this is a huge power. -up. You can tell it's huge power. -up. I like this. I like this um outfit though. Okita without the shirt. And rip the pants, I like it, I like it. I knew it, that's different from the usual Onigo. His eyes are burning blue. That's our color, the color of the Shinsengumi. What's it, this prep? What in the world is sword pressure? I can't see at the bottom of it all. Is that really Soji? There's Kondo, I've always believed. When Okita said one day he would become the true, he would become a true samurai. A, this is the final form Okita, the one willing to put his life, everything on the line. The captain of the first unit of Shinsengumi, Okita Soji, will make his move. Oh my God, this panel, bro. The, uh, this is a reward. <laughs> Transcending from Takamagaha, all those swinging my sword alone, all those days swinging my sword alone. Damn, he's crying. He's like, they have finally rewarded. I dreamed of someday using the swordmanship that have, I've been honing for so long. I am now convinced that my divine life was meant for this very moment. Okita Soji, thank you. Oh, okay. That's the end. Okay, okay, okay. This chapter is great. I think out of all around nine, this chapter is the best. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, I, I mess with both of you guys heavy. They're both great people. I mess with both of them heavy. Like, yeah, he's a murder demon, but still, like, oh my gosh, this chapter was great. This chapter was great. We finally got the Okita backstory. I guess. He doesn't have a Valkyrie then, like, it's literally just his, his demon, like, that, yo, you know what, that, wait, would that make his sword a divine weapon still? Or is it just like his normal blade that's able to injure God? No, it has to be a divine weapon. But, the, the sword demon trans, transformed into it? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. But, no Valkyrie. So does that mean they have an extra Valkyrie? Or will this Valkyrie get released next chapter? Nah, nah, nah. I don't think it's a Valkyrie. I think it, I think it's really just, it's really just him and the sword demon. 
it's really the two of them unless unless by some crazy standard now this is a big reach big 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 reach and it should be like i feel like this would be a little bit dance like machina but what if his valkyrie was one that was just able to like bring him back to life that he just never revealed nah, 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 nah. that's that's a, that's a big stretch that's a big stretch that's me trying to cope with okita's inevitable death that's me coping but hey like a man can dream candy but now nah, overall this chapter was great the 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 onigo was the favorite most my most favorite part them fusing and his eyes turning blue to represent the Shinsengumi new outfit. All good. Yeah, all good. Every so many good things. But oh my god, that means the last chapter is probably the last chapter for around um, round ten. Yeah, I think next chapter is probably gonna be the uh, the last one. Uh, but this 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 was a good fight. I I <laughs> listen. As I said, Susano fans, pack it up, really pack it up. Like <laughs> he's not coming out of this alive, and we got confirmed Okita's not coming out of it alive. So you know maybe this is a sign for us to put our differences to aside and come together as a family. Maybe it doesn't matter if you're an Okita or Susano fan. All that matters is that you're a record of Ragnarok fan. Maybe this is the author telling us to put our differences aside and stop picking side. But overall, I really did enjoy this chapter. And I can't wait until the next one, honestly. Probably going to be the finale. Still a Kita side, though. But Susno is, yeah, he's honestly a really good, like, I think he's a really good fighter, too. Like, honestly... I might be fine with a draw. I probably might be fine with a draw. Would still a little bit for Oki to win, but I could live with the draw. But that's everything that I have for today. Thank you for taking the time to go over this chapter with me and watching my videos. Comment your reaction about everything down below. And with that away, I'll let y'all go for today. Be safe out there and be good people. Thank you. See ya.